When you're going to record a long and continuous video, all modern video recording devices like a camcorder or your smartphone are going to save the video as separate files. And this is due to a file size limitation or a duration limitation of the recording medium. Now, when you want to share this video by, for instance, uploading it to YouTube, you run into the issue that you want to upload a single file, but you can't because you only have it in parts. So before uploading, you want to join the separate files into one continuous video. Now with any editing software, you can easily join videos, but not everyone has this software nor knows how to use it. So in this tutorial, I want to learn you how to do this uh, using a piece of free software. You will also learn what settings you need for uploading the video to YouTube. The first step is to get your files off the recording medium, like an SD card, onto your hard disk. In this case, I have six video files and you see they have a rather technical name and you can change it of course to anything you like like part one part two to part six um, but in this case i will just leave it like this because the ordering is um, is uh, fine anyways now you see that the the size is 1.8 gigabytes or a little less than a gigabyte and the maximum duration of the file is 30 minutes so apparently this camcorder does not uh, support a file duration of more than 30 minutes so it stops recording or it doesn't really stop recording but after 30 minutes it saves the video file as this one and then it continues recording and in this case the user stopped recording after another 15 minutes and then uh, re-record it again for 30 minutes plus 8 and then again for 30 minutes plus 10. so this is perhaps one entire lecture and now you want to uh, join these six video files as one single continuous video file. Um, before we're going to do that, we're going to look into some of the properties of these video files. If I go to the properties of this file, go to details, I can see here the resolution of this video. And it's in this case 1280 pixels by 720 pixels at a data rate of almost 8000 kilobits per second and the frame rate is 25 frames per second. So that's the most important thing to remember. It's 1280 by 720 pixels at 25 frames per second. Now the piece of software we're going to use is called AVE DMUX. If you go to Google and you Google this, AVE DMUX, I've also put a link in the description, and you Google this, then the second result you get to the main page of AVE DMUX, and it's explained here. It's a free video editor designed for simple cutting, filtering, and encoding tasks. It supports many file types, which is nice. And one of the most important things is it is, it is available for Linux, BSD, Mac OS X, and Microsoft Windows. So it's cross-platform and free. If you go to Downloads, you download your version, like for Linux, for Windows, 32 or 64 bits, and for Mac. Now, if you open the software, you'll see this window for AVE DMX. What you have to do is first open your first video file. So in this case, it's here the number one. If I open this, I'll see the video, which is nice. I can also go through the video using this player or these player controls. I can see the entire length, it's 30 minutes. And if I play a bit, then I can also check that there is sound. So this is good. Um, this is one of the six video files. And what we now have to do is we have to add to this one the five other files. To do this, you do not choose open, but you choose append in file or control A. And then you choose the second file. So what this does, it appends the second file to the one you already have in the player here. And now you see that the entire length has become almost 45 minutes, exactly as we expected, because that is 30 plus the second file. And you can also check this by going through your file and checking that it is uh, correct. Now, if you want to uh, keep increasing video files, you just repeat this step. We're going to add the third one the fourth, the fifth, and the last one. 
it's supposed to be the entire video now, so you can again scrub through it, check if everything is in there in the right order. I'll see here that it's not two hours long, so that is a good thing. Now this is this part is done. You have sort of joined all the video files into one um, continuous video, and now we have to save this video file. But in, before we're going to save it, we need to know how we are going to encode the new video file. So every audio visual file consists of a video stream with just a video and an audio stream with just the audio, and both are uh, compressed using a particular codec. And it is very important to choose the right codec um, for uploading it, for instance, to YouTube. And not only the right codec, but then you have to also choose the file type. So the video and audio stream are, stream are contained in a sort of container, um, and uh, you have to choose a particular container for a particular um, medium that you're going to upload it to. So in our case, we're going to upload it to YouTube. And there are a lot of settings here in uh, choosing for the output. Uh, so it's kind of difficult to see what you have to choose here. But luckily, YouTube uh, has a help file in which it tells you what encoding settings you need to use. So if you search on the internet for the recommended upload encoding settings for YouTube, then you'll find this page. And on this page, you can find all the different settings you need for uploading, uh, for encoding the video, for uploading it to YouTube. So we're going to start with the video codec. And what you need is the H.264 video codec. So in AVE DMX, we can use this one, the M MPEG-4 AVC X264, which is fine. Well, if you click configure, then there are a lot of different settings. But the only one that we really need is this one here for the rate control. For encoding mode, you can uh, set this to constant bitrate, single pass. So it will maintain a constant bitrate for the whole video. But then you have to supply the target bitrate. Now here in the recommended upload encoding settings, if you go to bitrate, you can find the, what the rec recommended video bitrate is. Now remember, we had a we have a video of 1280 by 720 pixels, um, which is this one here, the 720p. This first number here refers to the height of your video. So remember, we have 1280 by 720 pixels. The P stands for progressive, which is the the frame type. Mostly all video nowadays is pro progressive. So um, this is kind of getting a rudim this is kind of getting ru rudimentary. In any case, you have to uh, then look up what video bitrate you need for your frame rate. Um, these ones are for the 24, 25, and 30 frames per second. And this is for a high frame rate of 48, 50, and 60 frames per second. Um, remember, we have 25 frames per second, so we need 5 megabits per second. So here for the constant bitrate and the target bitrate, you can set this to 5,000 kilobits per second. If you have a higher resolution video, like 1920 by 1080, which is this one here, then you also need a higher video bitrate. And if you then also have a higher frame rate, like 60 frames per second or 50 frames per second, then you need an even higher um, video bitrate. The thing is, you can, of course, set a higher target bitrate for your video, but what YouTube does, um, they re-encode your video anyways on their server, and then they will change your bitrate or downgrade your video anyways to this target bitrate. So that is the reason why you would choose this recommended video bitrate because encoding it with a higher bitrate will only increase your file size and then take up more of your own disk space and it will not have any effect on the uh, quality of the video as you will, as you will uh, see it on YouTube. So just use these recommended video settings and in this case we can choose 5000 kilobit per second. Click OK. Now for the audio output, you can choose copy, which is mostly actually fine, but the recommended audio codec here is AAC. So just to be sure, we can choose AAC and then use the first one, the FDK. Um, if you click configure, the bitrate is set to 128, which is fine, so you can press OK. Then finally, the output format, which is this container that the video and audio stream are contained in, 
And as you can see, YouTube tells you that you need to use MP4. So here at output format, you need to choose the MP4 muxer. And if you click configure, then this is also just fine. So press OK. That's it. You can now save your video. Go to file, save. Choose a file name like lecture complete or whatever. This guy's, I named it example and I made it earlier. And then if you save it, it will take some time to encode. And of course, the longer your video is, the longer it takes to encode. And when it's done, um, you can upload it to YouTube. Before you're going to upload it, please check your final file. Just open it, scrub through it, check that everything is in there in the right order and that the audio is also um, present. Just check it before you're going to upload it because these are pretty large files. In this case, this file is four and a half gigabytes. And if your upload connection isn't that fast, then it will take a long time to upload. And if you then find out that the video wasn't encoded correctly in the first place, you have to redo the whole process again, and this will take many more hours. So just check this one. If anything is wrong, then um, see if you did anything uh, wrong in the, in, in the encoding settings, like uh, uh, set this to like maybe five kilobit per second because you read that it should be five but it's five megabit per second so this should have some additional zeros you know stuff like that could go wrong so just check it and check your final file and see if the quality of your final file is of the same quality as the separate files in here because then you know that uh, everything went all right so that's it good luck and again the two links so the link to Avi Edemix and the link to the YouTube recommended upload settings are, um, are in the uh, description of this video. And I hope you found this uh, useful tutorial.